Scorpios, hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to Hadia K, the Goddess Palace, y'all. I will be doing Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, Mercury, Venus for, for Scorpio babies. All right. We're going to see what's going on. We're going to see what's going on, y'all. You could be dealing with a Gemini energy here, or like I said, you guys can just be in the same boat. So just watch the Gemini reading as well. Maybe some of you guys are having to pick between two lovers, or you guys are stuck between what you want to do, what you want to say, who you want to be with as well, Scorpio. All right. Go ahead and like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications so you'll be notified of my videos, baby. If you guys are interested in purchasing um from my website, okay, that new... My new website I just launched. You guys can go into the description box and the password is going to be goddess, G-O-D-D-E-S-S, -S, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get it started, y'all. So, let's go ahead and get into the products, though. I have my Yoni Steams, my bath soaps that are also available to you if you guys are interested I have my money oils, okay? If you guys are interested, again, the website will be posted in the description box below. And the password is goddess, G-O-D-D-E-S-S. -S, all right? So. Scorpios, I feel like your options or there's things from the past that you guys are not. It's like you guys need to heal or uh, heal from the past or there's things from the past that's popping up here. People from the past is popping up. Situations from the past that's popping up. And I feel like your options, you guys can be waiting for some type of option to come back. Or maybe this is you waiting for somebody to come back here. Maybe you expect somebody to say something, do something, whatever. Family, friend, lover. It's not going to happen. King of Cups, King of Swords in reverse in the Moon card. Three of Pentacles. I feel like someone feels like you didn't collaborate, cooperate with them, or you weren't being um, honest or true, or this is how you feel about them, okay? But I'm also getting your options may not be coming through because it's like some of you guys may be just acting cold, cold-hearted, guarded as well, or it's like some of you guys are also scared about somebody looking at your secrets, or you know that somebody knows your secrets because of what you were, you weren't really cooperating with them when it comes to friends or when it comes to being a good friend, being a good family member, being a good lover here. Somebody was also, maybe if this isn't true, this is them here. Maybe you guys feel like someone is just a tap. Um, it's like it's like someone isn't going to change your three of pentacles in reverse. Maybe you feel like someone is still lying or still, um, it's like they're still juggling you and somebody else is what I'm hearing, okay? And like I said, maybe you're having to choose between who you want to be with or somebody, maybe in the past you were with somebody who treated you wrong, dogged you out, lied to you or whatever, and now they're coming back around here trying to speak to you, act like everything is new. But I feel like there's a need for you guys to stay honest or be honest with yourself. I'm also saying some of you guys can also be in a relationship or um, dealing with somebody and maybe there was a lot of riffraff between the two of you here and you're having to choose between who you want to be with here because a lot of you guys still have a lot of love or passion for this person and this is a friendship situation I feel like for some of you guys maybe you guys weren't the greatest friend um, or maybe you guys chose a lot of other people over somebody else here and I feel like there's a need for communication if this isn't the case a lot of you guys are just having to um, communicate how you feel when it comes to certain friendships or separations or um, not really talking to certain people for so, for long periods of time here, okay? But again, something with secrets is like maybe you guys are holding some type of secret back or there's some type of secret that you're hiding here and you feel like someone's going to know. Or like I said, they may already know here um, about some type of secret. Maybe you had somebody in some type of third-party situation lying to you and sneaking and they don't want to talk to you, they don't want to deal with you and you're trying to reconcile back with them now. Now that you're dealing with somebody new or something like that, okay? Um... So, yeah, let's get into it. So, Scorpios, the days that I have that's going to be very significant for you, please write these down. 7th through 9th, 11th, 15th, 17th through 19th, 20th through 22nd, and the 24th, okay? So, I definitely feel like Scorpios, there's a lot of movement here. I feel like maybe you guys are trying to move in a different direction. Okay, I definitely feel like a lot of you guys are also need to be, uh, like, balance things out here. Some of you guys are also need to rest, take the God and God of that you need to. I feel like you guys are trying to move forward in a different situation, or maybe you guys are trying to have a new lover here. I'm also getting, like, some of you guys are being spiteful or feeling some type of way because somebody got somebody new, all right? But I'm also getting you're trying to have a new love or new situation in your life here, and you're having to uh, 
Somebody, some of you guys may be nervous here, or maybe when you guys get nervous, you guys may stutter, or you guys may have a speech impediment, or it's like when you guys get nervous, you stumble over your words here, okay, when you get anxious, you shake, or something of that nature, okay, but I feel like there's a new opportunity that's coming toward you here, um, maybe this is a new love, okay, and maybe it's like you having to let go of the past, or you need to move forward in a better direction, you need to open up your heart, is also what I'm hearing, I'm also getting the more that you rest and rejuvenate, it's like it's going to more that you see things clearly here, but I'm also getting the need for you guys to have open communication with somebody, a lover, a friend, a family member, or somebody from your past, past, uh, past lover, past family member, past friend, some of you guys are also really focused on getting something new, getting to the back here as well. I'm also going to be less to be indecisive on what you want to do when it comes to money or career, what job is going to be beneficial for you, the will of fortune in reverse. I'm also going to there may be something that's stopping you or it's like you're always feeling like you go in five steps forward to go ten steps back here. But I feel like this is karmic, okay? Maybe this has to do with like you feeling like you're hot, like you're a hot commodity or you're like big shit is what I'm hearing. Or this can be how somebody feels. Uh, when it comes to you is what I'm getting, but I'm also getting the Queen of Pentacles can also be a mother, a mother energy as well. Maybe you're trying to figure out how to move forward from a mother energy or some type of karmic energy from a mother. How, how do you start forward? How do you start new? Or how do you start new when it comes to your friends? Yeah, three of cups in reverse. Some of you guys are feeling unhappy when it comes to your friends here. Maybe some of them are in and out or you know that you you know that you have fighting friends here or you know that it's like you're not getting your emotions met or your soul fed here. It's like maybe these friends are only around to smoke, drink with or to talk shit or to gossip a lot or something like that. And it's, I feel like you're wrapped up into it. And again, it's karmic. Maybe you've been going this for the last one, two, three years here. All right, and maybe I find Scorpio, you might be seeing somebody be very successful or striving or being independent here, and you may be trying to go back to them here. Maybe this is a family member, a friend, or a lover. Like I said, some of you guys are trying to be. It's like you guys know that you need to let something go. Let let someone go is what I'm getting. The King of Wands. You guys can be watching somebody's social media, or it's like you're very protective over somebody, even though you're not really speaking to them here. Some of you guys also know that you need to cut something off in order for you to be more stable or independent when it comes to yourself. Yeah, but it's like you guys also need to be honest with yourself. Judgment is like Libra energy, so I feel like this is also the courts. Legal situation. Some of you guys may also be going into legal situations because of something that happened to do with your friends. Uh, maybe like you and your friend got into a fight here or altercation, or it's like something like you're being judged for how you treat somebody for what you say, or emotional, like like coming back around here. And I feel like the unknown situation is like you realizing that something is in balance when someone is telling you like they feel like they're better off by themselves here whether this is a lover or a friend or a family member i'm also getting someone is, either you're telling this to somebody or someone's telling this to you that they feel like things are going to be imbalanced or it's not harmonious okay and the six of wands in reverse maybe some of you guys are, very, are being celibate at this time when you're choosing not to have sex with this person someone can also be coming back around scorpio to have sex with you only and you're realizing like you just gave yourself to somebody who really wasn't like beneficial or who really wasn't trying to be there for the long haul Okay, and I feel like someone was also using money, money and sex to get you, or you were using money and sex and your looks to get them. This could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus here as well. You can also be very focused on your money or how you're going to get to the bag here, but I feel like some of you guys have lost some type of passion or you don't know which way to go. Here's what I'm getting. The Queen of Cups is in reverse. Some of you guys is also like up at night here, restless, where it's like you keep having dreams or revelations about somebody here um, that you know that you need to say something to or like I said, that you need to... Uh, it's like you're restless about what's going on, the four of cups in reverse, because you know that you need to change your emotion, you need to say something, something that you are doing, speaking out, it's going to also be gossip here, gang stuff, and being around a lot of people that really wasn't best for you here, but the magician of the reverse is like doubt, this is also, like I said, spell work, candle magic, uh, water magic, speaking out, like trying to speak out again, speak out bad against somebody, like I said, gossip, talking shit about somebody here, maybe you're also looking at what you've been doing here, what you've been doing for the last, like this could be one to eight months, one to eight years here, or who you've been around here and realizing that they're not really beneficial, beneficial for you. They're not growing you, okay? And the Page of Cups, like I said, yeah. Um, this is you trying to figure out what you can do to make yourself independent, okay? And how you can call yourself, like, more, how you can be more stable, more more efficient with yourself is what I'm getting, okay? So, the main thing that I'm getting here for you, Scorpio, is the need for you guys to, like, Speak out, like don't hold things back. If you know that you need to say something to somebody, if you know that this is on your heart, if you know that you've um like it's like you keep watching somebody or you keep doing A, B, and C, or this is uh, a old lover to you 
here. It was like, like I said, somebody coming back around, you can be coming back around and trying, like, reconcile with somebody, but it's like, you can't be mad at somebody don't really want to fuck with you, or vice versa, okay? Because it's like, people still, it's like, I, look, the empress is in reverse. And some of you guys just can be having to do with, like, a mother figure, a sister, someone who's pregnant, or like I said, maybe you guys are not really in your empress or your emperor energy right now, like I said, because of, like, your thought processes, your emotions, or um, this could be somebody that you're dealing with, like, you know what I'm trying to say? Um, if you're masculine energy, some of you guys could also be having, trying to conceive, so get my baby, baby me blends. Some of you guys are also trying to conceive and you're realizing that whoever you're trying to conceive with, that's not the mother or father of your child. They're not going to be the one that's going to birth your baby. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like maybe you guys have been trying for the last couple months, eight months, eight months to a year to like have a child or whatever the case is. But again, if you're not, if your mind, body, and soul is not ready to to bless, you know what I'm trying to say, that it's not going to work, or this is like the DNA, the DNA of you and this person doesn't mix, is what I'm getting, okay, so peace, love, and light, Ashe, I love you guys like I love myself.